Well, I've never really thought I had the most photogenic face, but today I'm going to find out if I have a photogenic brain. So come on. We want to contact your doctor, or we want to contact you directly if there's an abnormality, and then sign our right, ND. I suddenly, I suddenly feel quite apprehensive. I don't know why. I'm just putting some, uh, some last minute information into the brain, just so it looks good for the photo. Like working out. Have you been in a scanner before? No. Okay, so you're going to be laying down on the scanner and through mirrors, you can look at some mirrors that like point your vision out to outside the scanner. And there's a screen, and on that screen we can project uh, videos. And so you'll just be laying in the scanner and watching videos. There'll be short videos, say five seconds long, um, and there'll be two people standing in front of a table. And on that table there'll be a tool, like a hammer or a ball, and a food, like a vegetable, a carrot, and ice cream. And there'll always be those two distinct categories and the question will pop up on the screen as the videos have and there'll be a really simple question like did the person reaching have light hair? Was the person reaching male? And there'll be a yes on the left hand side and a no on the right hand side and you press with your left thumb for yes and your right thumb for no. So obviously the scanner's through there, anything yeah. like that. Um, any belt, take belt, off. Yeah. coins in your pockets. But the, the little button in my jeans is alright? Yeah. That's okay. fine. This is Brady's form. Should I take my shoes off? I'll take my watch off. No metal in the scanner. And some light batteries, but it looks behind before you light back. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. So I'm just preparing a, a random sequence of videos. So then when the scanner starts, it sends a signal to the computer and the computer starts the videos so that the scanner volumes that we collect are uh, synchronised to the presentation of the videos. So you know when a certain video was on, um, what was the state of activity in the brain. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. OK, are you comfortable? I am very much. I might even fall asleep. Not yet. OK, I'm going to do the first scan, which is just to set the scanner up. This only takes about 20 seconds, and I'll speak to you again afterwards, OK? Oh, is that OK? Lovely. As we walk around um, and make decisions and behaviours about what we're going to do, um, we base it on what we see and how we understand what we see other people do. So if someone's, the classic is someone's going for the salt, you can just see them go and grab it and you get it, you get it for them because you understand their intention is to get the salt and they need it. They don't actually say anything, they communicate by action. Do they get paid? They get paid. They get paid to do this experiment. Not all experiments, but this one they do. They get paid £10 and they get a picture of their brain from printed out. Do most people do it because they get a picture of their brain? Um, <laughs> I'd say yes, they do. They do it for the brain. And the purpose of the question is simply just to keep... Uh, keep him interested in the videos. So we don't even look at any kind of response from the question. It's simply to keep him looking at the videos attentively so he can answer the question. It's really hard to concentrate. OK, you've got another three keep to trying. go exactly like that. God, I can, my mind keeps wandering. Just keep watching. <laughs> Just keep watching the videos. Oh. <laughs> and try and keep your head still, OK? OK. The, the images look good. OK. There's quite a number of steps of analysis, but what you're actually looking at is the, the blood flow or the bold response. So, simply put, um, the ratio of oxygen um, in the blood around the body. So, if there's deoxygenated areas, then it's likely that that part of the brain's been working and therefore using oxygen to do so. Um, so, places that go from oxygenated to deoxygenated would be arguably be working and active. OK, this is the last one. Are you all right? Yes, I am. Thank you. The person I work with, my colleague, my super supervisor, is very, very uh, good to work with. And the project's really exciting. Um, it's a three-year grant, so, and we're six months in. So this is the first experiment we've actually ran on this grant. And touch wood, it's all going to plan so far. We've not got any actual findings yet. So that's the real, like, big moment when you get the, the findings and you try and write it up for publication. Yeah. How'd you feel? Alright. It was 
It was so boring. <laughs> it was so mind-numbingly boring. Like I couldn't concentrate, but you knew you had to get the questions right or try to get them right. So, so everyone that does this gets ten pounds. That's they? true. Yeah. Do I give it to an appropriate charity? Spinal cord going down here. Yeah. That's the start of the spine. Extraordinary. I was getting into such a routine of of bald guy come forward takes the banana and I had it and and I imagined there was a pattern happening like and I and I and that's the time when I thought oh I can see what he's probably looking for here he's probably like that, that I would, my brain was in such a There's my tube brain that's it